Hello everybody, this is Dago Seda, and this is pretty snazzy walkthrough, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Part 13 to 15, we are in the Dead Factory, and this is actually the final area of the game. Yes, now you can say hello. I'm Dark Dag, nice yep. to meet you. Alright, so I think that was a scene with Carlos in there, which is, he really is like, Oh, I'm Carlos, look at me, I'm pretending to be Mexican, I'm cool. But, you know, whatever. So I figure we'll do some combining here, we can get s probably our... Final thing of freeze rounds, I guess. This will be the last thing we'll need to finish whatever we need to finish. Because we are at the end of the game here. And we already have more than enough freeze rounds to kill the boss. Well, is that a 10 or 18? I don't know. But whatever. We're going to have enough to kill the boss. So don't even worry. The boss is really easy. He's, And if you guessed, I'll, I can easily just spoil it for you now. And I think I will. Because it doesn't matter. Uh, the boss is once again at Nemesis, and we are sick of dealing with that guy. And oh my god, Nemesis, you silly jerk. But Nemesis, this Nemesis, is actually much, much easier than the Nemesis we fought last time. Because last time he was armed with a rocket launcher, and he would relentlessly charge you down. But with freeze rounds, it really doesn't make much of a difference. And also, a cool trick you can do with grenade rounds is combine them with any sort of ammo type and you'll turn it into the right kind. So if you kind of with, combine it with A, it makes flame rounds, B, acid rounds, and C makes freeze rounds. So that's actually pretty good. It's, it got me a little bit of extra ammo. And here, nah, you know, just kind of combining stuff. I'm bringing that Magnum with me just because I know I might have to fight a hunter soon, and this would be a pretty sad place for me to die because I am pretty close to my second save here. The second save of only two in the entire game, guys. All right. You know, in here, it's really... You kind of can just figure this out by pushing a bunch of random buttons, and it's not very difficult at all. Like, yeah, you push the switch, and then if it, if that thing isn't there, and then... What? What? I you did it. it. All right, so you're getting the bone arrows there? I think so. You yeah, probably should. All right, so, yeah. Really, I... Honestly, all I do is just kind of press random buttons here, and... I mean, I you kind of figure out the general but general direction of how you're pressing it that was necessary guys I don't even I have no idea if you heard that but whatever so yeah just pushing switches and here it's half of a lock you have to you have to do two of these things to go and open up a, a door that takes you to the second last boss because obviously now you fight Nemesis here, and then you fight a final boss after that. And if you haven't guessed who it is already, then you are silly gooses. Any guesses? Nemesis? Yeah, it's Nemesis. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't figured out from the fact that the title is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Nemesis is kind of a pretty big deal in this game. Yeah. He tries to kill you, you run away, you laugh, you cry, you know. Alright, so here you could have either a couple of drain demos or a couple of brain suckers. And really the only difference between the two is that Brain Suckers, I th apparently they have some sort of attack where they can instantly kill you. Or the fact that they also can spit poison at you and poison you. Whatever. Alright, so here I'm just kind of working around these zombies here. I figured, like, yeah, I can use my shotgun to take a couple of them out. But I, I really don't have to. I can just kind of run past all of them. And plus there's those, there's those green herbs right there, which I picked up with the intent of maybe having to heal myself. And yeah, I have that. I figured, yeah, maybe an appropriate time, but no, all, all I really needed there is the green herb. And really, there's really not much crap going on here. Like, you'd think it'd be super dangerous for being the dead factory, but no, it's actually more like the living factory because I'm very much alive, and everything in this factory is very much alive. Thank you, that was my speech on death. And here we got some more of those drain demos, and they really tick me off, that grabbing attack. Like, I don't know, if, you, if you've watched my Metroid Other M walkthrough... I have. You, you haven't watched the whole thing, though, have you? I, I commentated. Yeah, you've most commentated. For, not most Well, not most, I mean, a, a bunch of it. And you, you know my whole spiel on rape enemies in that game, right? Yeah. Yeah, that game is filled with enemies that just, like, grabbing you and raping you and jump on you. Okay, so here... I was hoping there'd be only a couple of worms in the water, but no. I get my freaking hunters in here. So very just one magnum shot is enough to kill them. And since I'm not going to be using the magnum against the final boss or anything like that, I uh, just waste it here. So, yeah. Also, first time I was doing this, the hunter kept jumping at me, but I was out of range, so I kind of kept 
dodging and nothing was happening. He's jumping and missing and it was really... It's actually really amusing to watch. An enemy can just keep dodging it even though they can't, they're not even going to hit you even if you didn't dodge it. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. So now we're about to get to the probably most difficult puzzle in the game if you don't know what you're doing. And I might even put a link to narb 7s video of him trying to do this puzzle in the description because it's just so funny how bad he is at it. There we go. Yeah, I just got an item too. Sweet. I just got the compass. And it was round too. And ribbons. <gasps> oh yeah. my god. Okay, so here we are about to do the water sample puzzle. I really don't know an actual name for it. But okay, yeah, so I'm gonna put away that friggin' ink ribbon because we are not touching one of those ever again. I am sick of you, ink ribbons. Ink ribbons, you are the devil. Yeah, seriously, Capcom. That was like the most evil thing you could possibly think of. And what are ink ribbons? Ink, oh, ink ribbons is a jerkish way Capcom devised of limiting your saves. And if you're really stupid, you'll run out of them and not be able to save ever again. Yeah. Oh, Alright, so what we're supposed to do is like confirm the water quality is good or something like that. And you have to get these three three rows here to make a melody, I guess. I guess you can call it make a melody. But a you have to get melody? What? A mermaid melody? No. What what were you trying to reference there? It's an anime. Whatever. And you get to match that and then it says, Oh, sample's good. Alright. And it opens the other half of that lock we went through last time. I mean, the first time I played through the game, I kind of left the first part of the lock alone. And then had to come back and get to it later. But I figured it's much faster this way, and we're going for speed. Now, the way it works is basically you get the three things, and they stack up. And if it's a, a double block, I guess you can say. If it's a double block, it will always go to the lowest possible spot. Unless there's a double double block occupying it, but here, um, I actually I'm actually really good at solving this. Like I do this, I was thinking there's like four or five possible solutions for it. I figured, oh yeah, crap, I'm gonna have to go and look it up and find out what the solution is. No, actually, I was able to figure this out completely on my own, without even looking at the solution while I'm solving it, which is it, it's usually the kind of thing I do for puzzles that might waste time. But no, this time I didn't. I mean, some someday I'm probably going to be able to go back and play this game and be able to solve everything really quickly off the top of my head. But it's not that day. I showed you how to solve it. I showed you it can be solved. And everyone should have a good laugh about this. And I'm not really showing off my dodging skills either, if you noticed. Most of the time, I'm either, I haven't made much use of that dodge button as you think I would as you see like you see probably most a lot of people would run through this game all the yep there we go I love that melody yeah it's it's classic it's been there since the first Zelda game I think actually it is yeah you'd see a lot of walkthroughs there people are like dodge 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 oh man look how awesome I am I'm trying to show off my skills to all you guys and prove to you that I'm better than you and that you have no right to live anymore and haha ha, you're playing Call of Duty and you're K kill death spread is like only plus 30. That means you suck. Ha ha ha. Yeah. People right. hack that game. No, not that people hack. It's that just people think you have to be freaking amazing to be useful in life. But, right, so we radiated the facility key. That's the best way I can describe it because we're going to use that to grab the rocket launcher later in the game. And by later in the game, I really mean in like five minutes. And plus, even then, the rocket launcher has little to no use whatsoever. And I'll I'll show you why when we get to it. But really, there's not... I think there's really nothing else going on now, except... There's kind of... Oh my god, yeah, my nose is randomly started getting really stuffed up. I think I'm allergic to his house here. Oh gee, you're probably, probably just allergic to my dog. No, I'm definitely not allergic to your dog. My dog is definitely allergic to you. Yeah, his dog hates me. Like as soon as soon as I like get even near his house. Here's how it went. Back when we were kids, back when we were like eight years old, we started <laughs> playing with these sticks and pretended to hit each other with them. No, nope. my dog. No, we didn't pretend to hit each other. We did. We hit each actually other. hit each other. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it wasn't so bad though. It was like light taps. But my my dog tried to protect me. Well, I mean, like he was watching from the window, and I got hurt once. Like I got hit in the face or something like that, and. My dog got all angry, and ever since then, he hated every single one of my friends that came over. Anyone is like, he's like, you probably heard him. You, you bark, suck. bark, 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 and snarl, snarl. He'll never stop barking if he sees him. We have to yeah. sneak into my room, which never works. Which never, because <laughs> this dog's ears are like 
ultrasonic waves that can, like, radars that can pick up any sound yeah. there is. Like, you'll uh, hear the mailman coming from the, the edge of my development, which is like a mile away. And he'll be like, and he'll start right. barking. It's like, what are you barking at? There's no one here. No, 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 dogs have a mailman sense, though. My mailman sense are tickling. I'm gonna kill you. That's a fun scene when Nikolai shoots at you. Now, here's the funny thing. Hold on. The mailman Nikolai shoots at you. Lady. And then there, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. There is Nikolai's eyeball there. Yeah, that's yeah. fun. That sounds good. Yeah. So, I wish we could talk more about his dog, but no. His dog's pretty amusing. All I right, wish guys. I could end this with the Zelda melody, but I can't. No. All right, see you guys. Boss fight next video. Bye.